Hello everyone and warm welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody is doing well by God's grace. Yes, so today I want to share with you this recipe, okay? So this recipe has a bit of history, okay? So growing up, my mom used to make cabbage stew for us, okay? And we had a neighbor, like, you know, we lived on a compound house. So we had a neighbor and this neighbor tend to copy everything that my mom did, right? So for her to try to do something that was unique, she decided to make this recipe. And according to my mom, the recipe didn't work, okay? The recipe doesn't work, okay? And it didn't taste nice, right? So that's what my mom said, okay? It's just a ma or mo you know, bickering here and there, right? So today I've taken this recipe and I'm going to perfect the recipe i want the recipe to taste the vavavoom like when you taste it, you know that like this is a good 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 dish okay so what recipe am i talking about i'm making contumere and cabbage stew contumere and cabbage stew and yeah garbage my dad said says garbage but any garbage it is cabbage stew <laughs> so join me and i'll show you how i made this delicious recipe All right For this recipe, I'm going to use contumere, okay, and um, cocoa yam leaves, real contumere. So I've added some salt to it. I'm going to add hot water to it, okay. So I'll let it sit as it kills all the gems and also soften it as you know for the cooking process to speed up the cooking process, really, okay. So I will stir it and I will set it aside, right. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to doing the same thing to the cabbage so i have cabbage this is normal cabbage i'm adding some salt to it it's about a half a tablespoon of salt and then hot water i'm adding it to it as well stir it and as it kills bacteria it also soften it okay to make the preparation quicker so i have my red onions i have my tomatoes and here i have some kobe so this is the head of the kobe that i've cut into four so i have momone and then i have the normal kobe like the rest of the kobe without the head that i've nicely cut okay i also have some tuna so this is fresh tuna um that i have cut into chunks or cubes and um, this is red snapper that i have you know i have fried and i have some mackerel and i have my beaten i also have some chopped chilies okay so first of all we are going to fry our kobe head okay salted fish head and please 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 warning if kids are going to enjoy this meal please omit the step omit the kobe head because it has a lot of little little bones and with kids going to eat it is going to cause lots of lots of problems okay so just omit that if um, children are going to, or if adults are even going to eat and adults can't deal with small bones, okay? So I've added um, my momone and also added um, my chilies, okay? So I didn't do a lot of prep. I didn't blend at all. I chopped everything, okay? So I just want my life to be a bit easy, okay? And I've added my beaten. So I am really, perfect. I want this stew to be amazing, okay? Because um, my mom said it didn't taste nice right and um i tasted it it was okay because as a child you get it so um yeah but then i want this i want to take this stew to the next level so this stew is going to give us all the local taste that's why we have the gobi head and the momone inside okay and there's also beaten to boost the flavor going to give it a beautiful taste it's like when you eat it you can't even believe it right so i just added my um, tuna my fresh tuna okay so it will cook okay to cook it will steam up so don't worry about that and then I'm, i've added my mackerel and here goes in some ground cloves and calabash nutmeg okay so with the other end and pepper okay so i've added that and i'm giving a stir that is basically all the spices that is going in so the cabbage is going to go in first because the cabbage tends to be harder okay it takes um, a bit longer for it to um, soften a bit okay and because contour will be um, softer it's it's it has a different consistency contour me really so you have to let the cabbage steam for a bit longer for it to soften so that um embedded them it will not be like sleeping sleeping inside it's like 
you see Senna cabbage in Uncle Audi Demna, it is standing, standing like adding. Anyway, so it goes that goes in, and then my Kobe goes in because you need the Kobe to also cook nicely, and this is the time. This is not going to steam for long, even though it's going in before the contumely, it won't steam for long. Okay, it's steaming uh, five minutes, right? So we just um cover it and you let it steam, right? And after five minutes, you come back and you see the Kobe is still lying inside nicely. Okay, you give it a stir. So um the cabbage, right? I use normal cabbage, okay. So this is the cabbage you find everywhere and anywhere, even in Ghana. But if you are outside um Ghana, like you know, the diaspora and you have access to sweetheart cabbage, those are softer. So that so you can use that instead. I didn't think um manya fast one, so I didn't use that, but then um, it always okay. So I've now added in my contumery. Okay, so I'll, I'll give it a stir. What I'm doing, it, there's no reason. Sometimes when I'm cooking, I do things that has no go. There's no reason behind it. So don't ask me why did you do that? Why did you mix the flour? It's not. It's just a force of habits. People have things they do. So when they are doing things, I mean, they say, I stare. Whether well, it is important or not, but here it's important. So that's why I'm staring. Okay. So you make sure you mix it nicely. It, uh, it's mixed thoroughly because there's a tendency that some of the contumely will be um will be hiding at places and they will be just on its own. What is the word I'm looking for? Bro, for Ben, I'm meeting you. I can't explain it. as a man person making. Anyway, so you, you just make sure that you mix it nicely. So earlier you saw me that I added some salt. I just wanted to make sure that the food is well seasoned. Okay, so you added some salt. So here goes in my snapper. Okay, so snapper that I've just fried, right? So this stew is just super amazing. It's got everything and it. it's got a Kobe. So when you eat it and you close your eyes and you're eating it, you won't think there's cabbage in it. And I use red oil. If you noticed, I use red oil. I don't think I mentioned it at the beginning. I use red oil. Okay. So it's like, why you contour me for it? But cabbage womb. So this recipe has been perfected to the max. I don't think there is anything else you can do to this stew for this stew to taste any better. Or if you add anything, you spoil the stew. So this is the best recipe I've made for you, okay? And it pairs so well with rice. Rice in Kwanidi. Hey, right. Yeah, real mosa. Eh? And then yam, okay? For me, on that day, I ate it with yam. I would never eat it with rice at all on the first day. It's always yam, right? And then the following day is rice. And that, that was it, okay? You can even eat it with potato or anything else. But kenke anything that you want to pair this with it's amazing okay so thank you all for joining me today um it's a pleasure always having you and please like this video share and subscribe and um i will see you in the very next one actually and i hope to be bringing you a few more oh yes 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 yes, yes. i added eggs you cannot have this without adding eggs and then i said we push baby to me i don't want to lose anything hey if you're not going, hmm, we need to show, we need to show me, eh? Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.